In this video, we will be highlighting 10 inventors and scientists that helped develop modern society. Number 1. Marie Van Britten Brown Born in 1922, she was the inventor of the first home security system. As a nurse living in Queens, New York, Marie responded to the high crime rate of her neighborhood by implementing her own security system. This system included door peepholes, cameras that allowed her to see who was at the front door, and two-way microphones. If needed, there was also a push button that notified police. Number two, Garrett Morgan. Born in 1877, he was the inventor of the three light traffic signal and the safety hood. He patented the mechanical traffic signal and sold it to General Electric for only 40K. His safety hood, which filtered out pollutants and smoke, became the foundation of future gas masks. His biggest challenge was trying to sell the safety hoods to the South. Rumor has it, as a marketing technique, he hired a white actor to pose as the inventor and disguised himself as an Indian chief. They would wear the masks, enter areas of poor air quality, and would come out breathing fine. Number three. Louis Latimer. Born in 1848, he was the inventor and draftsman that helped patent the light bulb and telephone. He worked with Alexander Graham Bell and assisted him in drafting the patent for the telephone. He also worked with Thomas Edison and improved his design of the light bulb. Edison's light bulb was lit using an electrified filament of paper and would burn out rather quickly. Louis Latimer improved that design and patented the incandescent light bulb with carbon filament. He later improved the manufacturing process and developed the threaded socket that we're familiar with today. Number four, Otis Boykin. Born in 1920, his work with electrical resistors led to his invention of the control unit for the pacemaker. His patent of the wire resistor had the ability to, quote, withstand extreme accelerations and shocks and great temperature changes without danger of breakage of the fine resistance wire or other detrimental effects, end quote. This precise regulation allowed the device to create electrical impulses that would help to regulate irregular heartbeats. Number five, George Carruthers. Born in 1939, he is the inventor of the UV camera that was famously used on the Apollo 16 mission back in 1972. This camera provided the first evidence for the existence of molecular hydrogen in space. UV emissions give clear indication of the temperature of really hot objects. However, most UV is absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. By placing the camera on the moon, it captured hundreds of images of new stars and nebula. His inventions also captured photos of Halley's Comet. Number six, Bessie Blount Griffin. Born in 1914, she invented an electronic feeding device for amputees. Bessie studied nursing and developed a passion for physical therapy, a profession that was not yet formalized during her time. Often the equipment that she used to treat her patients were inadequate, so she used innovative methods to treat them. One of the ways she enhanced her patients' treatments was by incorporating interpretive dance. She also made sure her patients felt confident in their own abilities by allowing them to perform basic functions like eating. Her electronic feeding device allowed patients to feed themselves through the use of a motor and a tube. Number seven, Lonnie Johnson. Born in 1949, he is the inventor of the Super Soaker. He was a natural tinkerer and grew up building robots and go-karts out of scraps. He worked as an engineer for the US Air Force and NASA and worked on multiple space projects, including the Jupiter Galileo probe mission and the Mars Observer project. While working on one of his personal projects at home, he accidentally shot a stream of water across his bathroom. This accident would be the basis of his Super Soaker gun. This toy made more than 200 million in sales and eventually became one of the world's best-selling toys. Number eight, Charles Henry Turner. Born in 1867, he was a zoologist and the first person to discover that insects' behavior can vary based on social interactions. Turner published more than 70 papers and served as one of the pioneers for animal behavior. He also showed that insects are capable of hearing and learning. One of his most famous projects he worked on was with honeybees and their ability to recognize pattern and color. Number nine, Mark E. Dean. Born in 1957, he is the inventor of the colored PC and the first gigahertz chip. Along with his partner, Dennis Moeller, they developed the internal architecture of the ISA, which allows you to plug accessories like keyboards or printers onto a monitor, regardless of what brand it is or how long ago it was bought. 
He eventually developed the colored PC and with a team, created the first gigahertz chip, which can conduct a billion calculations in one second. Number 10, Mae C. Jemison. Born in 1956, she is a physician, engineer, and the first female African-American astronaut. She attended Stanford where she received her Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. Upon graduation, she attended Cornell University to pursue medicine. Jemison is fluent in Russian, Japanese, and Swahili, and worked with the Peace Corps for two and a half years as a medical officer. In June 1987, she became the first African-American woman to be selected for the NASA program. And in 1992, she served the role of mission specialist and became the first African-American woman to travel in space. These pioneers of science have pushed the boundaries of innovation and have served as the foundation for future generations. Along with their many inventions, their legacy lies in the young minds that continue to imagine and tinker in hopes of creating a better world. We will continue to grow, we will continue to challenge the status quo, and we will move and push society forward.